In this task, we are evaluating the integral of e taken to the power of square root of x dx. Let's make a substitution and denote square root of x as t. So we'll have x equal to t squared and dx equal to 2t dt. And substituting these into the initial integral, we'll have the integral of e to the power of t times 2t dt. Or pulling 2 out of the integral, we'll have 2 times the integral of t times e to the t dt. And this is the integral, which is taken by parts. And the general formula for integration by parts is the following. The integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du. So let's apply this formula for the solution of our integral. Hmm. But first we're going to need to pick these u and v functions. I suggest that we choose u to be equal to t, which means that du equals dt. And this leaves us with dv equal to e to the t dt. Obviously, to find v, we're going to need to integrate both parts of this, of this uh, equation. So we'll have v equal to e to the t. It is always convenient to pick v to be the function which can be easily integrated, like we have in our case. Now, let us substitute these u, du, v, and dv into the formula and see what happens. So, we'll go u times v, which is t times e to the t minus the integral of v du e to the t times dt. So this formula led us to this new integral, which is obviously can easily be evaluated. So we'll have t times e to the t and we would miss the two coefficient here it is <coughs> so we have two times t times e to the t minus e to the t and plus the constant of integration. We can also factor out this e to the t term, so we'll have 2 times e to the t times t minus 1 plus c. And recalling that t is actually equal to the square root of x, We obtain the answer to our integral, which is 2 times e to the, to the power of the square root of x times the square root of x minus 1 and plus the constant of integration. So this is our answer.